Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Twirl and Curl by Gabor in the color Shaded Hazelnut. Started. Twirl and Curl is a brand new style by Gabor, released September 2020. This was sent to me by Name Brand Wix. If you're wanting to check out the style or maybe a different color, pop over and check out their website. The link will be down below. It will take you right to this style, make it super easy. Twirl and Curl is a crop style, it's layered and it looks like a natural head of hair that has body. It's not really curly, it's not really wavy. It just has like a nice natural bend in each layer that gives it a beautiful kind of round style. Kind of almost a stacked look in the back. I think this is such an everyday style, a grab and go. It can be for work, it can be casual. It can be very polished and sophisticated. I just think this is going to check a lot of boxes for a lot of people. It is very much what you see is what you get. Now I have done very little to this style. I typically wear my wigs for two weeks before I review them, but since this is a new release and I know how important reviews are, especially on new styles, that I wanted to get this review onto my channel. I do feel like there is some exaggerated bend in the hair here, a little bit of box hair. I feel like this could use a good soak in cold water and hang upside down to dry. I did spray it with my water bottle and fluff these hairs away from each other, kind of pulled them away from the cap, got in there with the permatees and lifted that just a little bit. But I feel like there is still some curl that I need to manage a little bit. And, and a lot in the back. The back is really like the highlight of this style. It's a very round style. but I love all the layers in the back. But I think you can see as I play with it, all the hair is kind of going in one direction and that's why when I sprayed it down and then was playing with it, I kind of have to like get it going both ways. <laughs> because when it came out of the box, it was all moving in one direction and that kind of looks like box hair. So when you get it and you know you're gonna keep it, don't be afraid to play with it. Spritz it with water, get the hair fibers going in the direction that you want them to go because it is, like I said, a very natural looking style and it looks like hair that has really good body. It doesn't really look curly or wavy or that it's been curled, I don't think. I just think that some people's hair looks like this. I think this is darling. The cap on Twirl and Curl is a typical Gabor cap. They are stretchy and light. They're on the thin side. This has a temple to temple lace front. It has a left monofilament part, felt covered ear tabs with metal stays, and then felt covered extended nape and Velcro adjusters. Gabor caps don't have super substantial ear tabs. They provide decent coverage. They have metal stays. I don't have any issues with them, but they're, they're just kind of small ear tabs. Also Gabor caps, since they're on the lighter, thinner side, they feel worn in. Like there's not a wear in period with Gabor caps. They fit, they fit comfortably the day you get them. I just don't have any complaints about Gabor caps. They are pretty comfy. The measurements for twirl and curl says that the front is eight and a half inches, the crown is 11 inches, the sides are seven inches, the back eight inches, and the nape four. And twirl and curl weighs 3.25 ounces. It is super light. 
in the layering on the style like you can get that stacked look because of the the bend in the hair fibers it's more of like that barrel there on the description is going to say a barrel curl I mean there's not really a curl I guess if you wanted to wet it and scrunch it or put some product in it and scrunch it then you could but really it's just like each of the layers have a bend to them and so you can really get like that stacked style I think it's super cute. It has a really cute shape, super easy. Let's talk about this color. Okay, this is Shaded Hazelnut. Color code is 829. So it has a root. And I mean, it's dark. I don't think it's crazy dark. It doesn't look black. It might be a little bit dark for me, but I mean, I don't think it looks weird. Shaded hazelnut is very much like, if you've ever seen a hazelnut, it's very much the color of a hazelnut. It is brunette with kind of some golden highlights. And I had thought that I had seen this color on other people and that it looked kind of red. It is not red. There is no red in this and not in the piece I got anyway. My normal go-to color for Gabor is chocolate caramel and they didn't have that in this style. And then rusty auburn is another color that I choose and they didn't have that. My normal go-to colors they didn't have and I thought, okay, this is pushing me to try a new color. And so that's what I did. I'm gonna throw up a picture to show a color comparison of chocolate caramel, rusty auburn, and this shaded hazelnut. Um, another color that I have tried from Gabor was caramel, and I tried that in a longer style, and I just didn't find that it was flattering on me. But that'll kind of give you an idea and a comparison of the four colors I've tried from Gabor and how, how they all compare to each other. I think shaded hazelnut is beautiful, and I think it's really pretty on this short style. The permatease and hair fibers in Twirl and Curl. There is not a ton of hair to this wig. It's low density. It only weighs 3.25 ounces. The permatease, like there's permatease all over. It's not a lot. It's not going to like help you with volume or style. I really think it's there to give it a little bit of lift and then cover those wefts. Super easy. It just adds to the, the effortlessness of it, the comb and go, grab and go. It's super cute. Also, really easy to tuck behind your ear. This is my natural hair, but I mean, no ear bend. You just tuck that right behind your ear. So easy, so light. And I was even trying to like work that permatease and get some lift up here. And I mean, there's just not, there's not a lot of hair and there's not a lot of permatease. I mean, it's just a really light, low density style. I think it's great. Okay, so I've talked about the cap and the color and the measurements and the permatease and the hair fibers. My overall thoughts about twirl and curl, I think I've said it, I think it is darling. I think it is every day, everybody, every occasion. You can make it casual, you can make it dressy. It's no fuss, it's not in your face. It easily tucks behind your ear. It's got that beautiful lace front, oh. And since it has that beautiful lace front, I mean, you can very easily pop this right up off your face. So just one more thing that you can do to it to make it super easy and make it work for you for different things. Okay, so that's what I think about twirl and curl. And thank you to Name Brand Wigs for sending me this piece and giving me the opportunity to put it on my channel. I hope that it helps you guys in making your decision and trying this brand new style by Gabor. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Okay guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you think about Twirl and Curl. Okay, see you in my next video. Thank you.